to my beautiful subscribers and those that are tuning in for this video. This is Queen Sugar and today I'm just going to do a very quick energy update about this new moon that will be coming in literally at the end of July. I believe it is July 31st and it is a black moon and so I'm curious to know what type of energy will this new moon bring in for us this month. And so I have a couple of decks or a few decks here that I will use. And we're just going to get an update about like the energy that is to come. So we have community with this new moon. So definitely a support system, a better um, relationship with like your spirit tribe or your friends and family it seems and we have strategy and then the fourth chakra archangel Raphael and so what I'm getting from this is that this new moon is definitely going to bring in support and community within your life whether that be with your friends and family or with your spirit guides and spirit is asking you and that to know that they are here to support you and guide you and that this new moon is going to bring some type of strategy for you. You're going to be more creative. You are going to um, definitely try to write down things a lot more. You are going to just plan. You're going to be very strategic about the things that you want to manifest. And then with the heart chakra, I'm getting like, you know, healing of that chakra, but also like love. And it's beautiful that these cards come out because they kind of go with the these cards as well that are standing so we have harmony which is the lovers and it just really resonates with me with this heart chakra card so some of you all may be coming into union with your twin flame your love your soulmate whoever or whoever that you can think of at this time and you are definitely becoming more courageous it seems like your spirit guys are just popping up more and with this line i'll get like leo energy and then the eight is like for the month of august this month is about power and strength this is your month this is about being strategic being confident you know manifesting those things that you want whether that be a relationship a job a career better relationships with your family and friends and then we have the third eye chakra and then the universe. You know what is yours. You see it. You know it. You believe it. And spirit is saying that this new moon is allowing you to, to step into that energy and to really manifest and create the things that you want because you know it and you see it and you believe it. So allow that new moon energy. There's a great ritual that you can do. You can write out the things that you want to possibly manifest. Maybe do like one, two, three things. No more than three. Write that down on a sheet of paper. And then, you know, hold it in your hands. Hold it close to your heart. And say, say that you have those things already. So let's say you want to manifest a relationship with someone. Say, I'm so grateful that I have a healthy, loving relationship with my partner, with my person. Or I'm happy that I have the job of my dreams. Say those things. Write those things down on a sheet of paper. Three, one to three things. And then hold it to your heart and say it as if you already have it. And go outside and plant that, that small sheet of paper. And just walk away from it. Set your intentions and just allow it to manifest. Think of it as like you are planting your seed. So that's what Spirit is saying to do for this new moon that is coming up. We have service and regret. So this new moon is definitely going to push you to want to help others that are in need. You're also going to help yourself as well. So I'm getting that with the community. You're going to do probably community projects. But also you are going to be a service to yourself. You're going to let yourself rest. You're going to let yourself heal. And you're not going to regret taking that time for yourself anymore or helping others. You might have people that say like, oh, I don't understand why you want to do that to help you know this particular group or why you are spending so much time at home and not going out with your friends because you are welcoming change you want to change you want to be better you want to grow and heal and for this new moon you are allowing yourself to finally do that and spirit is excited about it so we're gonna get a couple of cards from the cherry enchantress uh tarot deck just to get a little bit more insight about this this new moon That was the tower that flipped over, but it didn't fall out. So we have the Eight of Wands, and that just talks about, you know, accelerated motion, action. 
and a lot of things might be moving in quickly for you in the month of August. So that could be like a person coming back into your life saying that I know that you are the one that I want to be with. I see how amazing you are. Your divine energy is just beautiful to me and I don't want to waste time. I want to take action now. I want to take you on a date. I want to, you know, embrace you. But also too, I'm getting the vibe that the things that you want to manifest are coming in ASAP. Like they are speeding up because you have done the work to heal. You are doing the work to heal. You are sitting in your high priestess energy, which is beautiful. We're going to get one more card. Seven of Swords. So now you are no longer wearing that mask. You are no longer deceiving others. You are no longer um, hiding. You are taking this month and this new moon energy into the hands of your own you are telling those that i'm no longer i'm not going to be afraid to speak my mind or my truth anymore because i know that this is the life that i want to manifest and you are no longer afraid about that you are no longer afraid about being judged anymore you are taking the time to heal and to um, manifest the things that you need to do because you know that that is important for you to manifest you are stepping into your queen of pentacles energy you know that you are worthy like i said earlier you might be trying to manifest a job and they're saying that that is happening you are planting the seeds and investing and doing everything that needs to be done in order to make sure that you can live this life that you've always dreamed of and the, go up, coming in again with like the emperor somebody is coming in for a lot of you all that are um, tuning into this video there is some type of love that is coming in for a lot of you all some type of love offer and then with the six of swords it's just movement you're moving forward you're moving away from the things that long no, no longer serve you when this new moon comes in and spirit is saying to get excited be excited because you deserve it it is your time to shine and to live this life up and enjoy it okay so i hope this little quick check-in for this new moon energy for july was helpful i'm going to get one more card beautiful we have the goddess of the moon you especially the divine feminine the moon represents the divine feminine energy you are stepping into your goddess energy you are embracing it and you are allowing it you are the empress you are the queen of pentacles you are the high priestess you are the creator and you are welcoming in that energy with this new moon that is coming at the end of July. Okay, so that was beautiful. I hope it resonated with a lot of you all. Please check out my other videos and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I am so happy to be doing this work and sharing these messages with you all. And I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or morning, depending on where you are in the world. Peace, love, and light.